If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Good on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be doing two things. I'm going to be covering a little bit of Madden 21S news, talk about a few of my final thoughts here, and then go into some packs. We do have some of these packs still in the store, have not left it. We have a ton of coins. And like I said, guys, I want to pull an ultimate. I want to pull either a full ultimate legend, like a 99, which I have not pulled, or golden ticket like i have not pulled a 99 all year and i've opened quite a few packs not this one you guys have been watching lately i've been opening packs there's no excuse anymore for me not to get absolutely like anything but that's still the case on the blue light or the pink light still done in the background guys got to get fixed with that but obviously not too many of us here right now it, regardless guys man 21 is closer and closer each and every day we're just about exactly a month out from it which still feels like a really really long time i really don't happen to make it that long quite honestly guys i don't know how you guys are doing it either i mean at least I'm still recording though, which is, which is pretty uh pretty immersive considering what we're dealing with here. But guys, get into this video before we get into it though. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you haven't already, make oh guys, let me pick the I have the winner picked actually already for yesterday's giveaway. Let me just get the guy's name up here. I have it right down here. Let's see, let's see. It was Joshua Yurex. Uh, hit me up on Twitter. You know my my Twitter link is always down below in the description. Go find it. DM me on there or. Tell me to follow you and then I'll follow you and then I can and then you can DM me just you know the drill just hit me up on Twitter and I will get you your card well both your cards from yesterday congratulations for that hopefully you're here today and now um guys about film study which I kind of want to talk about it was removed it was removed from Madden 21 now some people like Eric Rayweather claim or say that it was never going to be there to begin with and that would make sense because it never made sense why they would even toss film study into the game there was so much out outrage and they took it out very quickly it's very unlike EA. Trust me, we've been mad about a lot of things. Very unlike EA to actually put something in that's brand new, like a brand new feature, and take it out. I mean, that is what a beta is for, but they've never really done that like that before. And apparently, people who know EA have proposed this before. And if you don't know what film study is, it was like it was an ability or an X factor on a player that after the other after the, um, the other offense runs a play two or more times or three or more times, for the rest of the game you can see their play art of that play. And trust me, the way people play Madden, that pretty much ends most people's offenses. People were very outraged about it, but. Apparently out. EA took it out of the game. So now we think it could have just been a test. Like, they want to feel it out. See what people thought. A lot of outrage. Maybe next year fix it. So if you have to run it five times or... Or even three times in a row. I think three times in a row would make more sense. The way they had it was three times in general. I'm going to run X-Drag Trail three times. I'm going to run it once in the first, end of the first, and then maybe one time in the second. Which isn't really that much of a spam. And that's still enough to lose the play for the whole game. But... My thoughts on it, once I get that out to you guys, I get into the packs. I'm kind of excited for these Ultimate Legend packs here. I still have some coins going, and if we could pull a Golden Ticket and be great, that'd be nice, but I really don't think so. It's just very hard to pull a Golden Ticket now. I couldn't pull them when they weren't the hardest cards in the game to pull, and now they are definitely... Well, they were already the hardest games, uh, cards in the game to pull, but now they're just, like, impossible cards. We got a Low Legend there. We got a Gold, a Team of the Week, and a Base Elite. So we're going to take the Base Elite, we're going to take the Base Elite, we're going to take him, and we will take him. All right, we get a combine or draft draft card. I'm getting, I'm getting there. Been a while since I open packs like consistently where I can see all these cards. Chuck Bednarik. Oop, low, low ultimate legend, and we get a low. I don't understand how we get low cards like that. In the guaranteed ultimate legend spots, we should be at least getting 90 pluses. It does not make any sense we're pulling that that bad of packs. It, it really just doesn't add up to me. So ultimate legend pack number two. All right, let's get into this here. So we get a low legend. That's fine though in the first pack. I'll take that. Gold. Ooh, a series Redux right here. And we get a 90 Desmond Trufant, of course. We get a bad one. Ooh, a heavyweight. 91 Akeem Hicks. A pretty big Halloween card, I believe. Nope. Nope. A lot. Ooh, 90. Okay, wait, hold up. We got a few 90s here. Clinton Portis, you're done. We got, th we got three 90s. Okay, never mind. Full legend? 91 Bobby Wagner. Okay, that's not great, but I guess it's better than nothing. Full Ultimate Legend, give me a Jerry Rice. 95 Lawrence Taylor. All right, I'll take the Lawrence Taylor, and I will take Bobby Wagner. Um, That pack was, like, see, I want to say it was good, but we more than likely know it was bad. Like, coin-wise, I'm probably getting nothing back on that pack, but as a whole, I mean, I pulled a decent amount of 90, so, like, I can't entirely complain about it. Sure, has a little dark in here. Let me fix that up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So, we get another team of the week. Bosa, base elite 80. You know, I really never pull those top base elites, like, ever. Like, the Khalil Max, the D 
DeAndre Hopkins. Like, I never pulled those cards. I don't know why, and it's so late in the year. It's almost like they're so rare. 93 James Carpenter, that is trash. Full Ultimate Legend. 94 Tony Gonzalez. Mm, low Ultimate Legend. Oh, my Lord. Guys, I can't wait. We just got coins up. Now we're going to be right back in the coin slums very, very quickly. Just because I want to try to open some packs and have some fun with it. But this is what happens when I try having fun with it every single time. Gold card and Dalton. Team of the week card here. Brian Hill. Base Elite. Cooper Cup. Reggie Ragland. Mud Hero. Oh, that's bad actually still. But I saw a color. It's always a positive. All right, we got a full legend here. That is, ooh, 95 Demaris Thomas. Okay, that's probably gonna be our best pull. 91 Champ Bailey. Let me know how that's even possible. How the ultimate legends are lower overalls than the full legends that I pulled that has been done in this game for months now. Yay, yay, yeah, man. E, A. That's all I gotta say. I, I know, I'm opening a lot of packs. Like I'm playing a lot of coins. Just, I just want to be able to say I pulled one. That's all. That's all I want to say. Ooh, another platinum card. Give me DeAndre Hopkins, 88, 84. What do you go for? 65K? 80,000 coins. Okay, that's not bad. I'll take, take you for sure. Take you, take you. All right, that wasn't bad. We got the wing. I'm pretty sure wings is big. 88 Marks Mario. I think that's the best most fear card I pulled in a pack after the most fear promo literally ever. Full ultimate. Ooh, Kevin Green. Finally a full ultimate legend there. Um, okay, that's pretty obvious. I can't believe I pulled a full ultimate legend. I don't think I, I don't know. I pulled Kurt Warner, but that was like a 96. I didn't mean that's barely, barely an ultimate legend. Guys, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious here. My pack looks horrible, but that's okay. I'm happy that 20 was trash because in 21, I'm gonna spend a lot more money, especially my YouTube channel growing. So, if I spend coins here and I get nothing, that's fine. My pack looks gonna be much better in 21. I'm gonna spend real money and be happy about it. Oh. For this first round's a banger in comparison to what I usually pull out of the second round of this. Alright, 92, 93, 88. This first round was way better than the second round. A heavyweight card better be a 93. Gino Atkins. Full Ultimate Legend. Give me Jerry Rice. 93 here more. Full Ultimate Legend. 92 card Warner. You guys see what I gotta deal with? You guys see this? And then you guys always say, you should open up more packs. Yeah, I should, right? I mean, I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. Pretty excited. Honestly, it's still fun. I wish it was a little bit early in the year. Like, for packs. Like, if I could open up this many packs early in the year, like, that's fun. Where, pack, where pulls and stuff matter. Like, right now, it's kind of just, like, golden ticket or bust at this point. Maybe 99 overall. Like, a gold 99. But the only thing I can kind of get excited for, my hero card. Why are those still in packs? All right. Ooh, I got my Jerry Rice I wanted. Let's go there. Take that. I don't even care. All right, a Mud Hero card, really? 86 Trey Turner. Wow. Lawrence Taylor. Full Ultimate Legend. 95 Walter Jones. Full Ultimate Legend. 97 Eric Dickerson. Okay. All right. I'm going to open one last one, and I'm going to go check that Eric Dickerson price out, because I feel like that maybe can go for, like, 50K. Maybe? And if it goes 50K, it's pretty, pretty solid, honestly, at this point. Will get me. I, I may actually make my coins back on that pack. Full multiple legend, Michael Strahan. Nope. Probably end up taking you. Probably end up taking you. That's trash. That's trash. That's trash. That's probably good. Nope. Trash. All right. All right. All right. Final pack. Final pack. Can we hit big? Nope. Nope. Well, that was fun. Oh, guys, that's better for the pack opening. Uh, let's just check what Eric Dixon goes for, guys. But, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was this was fun. I hope you guys do enjoy watching it. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to get that golden ticket. It's never going to happen, no matter how hard we try. Clearly. But we have a ton of cards, like a ton of cards in this binder right now. Eric Dixon, let's check you out. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are having fun. Uh, if you guys, how excited you guys are for 21. If you pre-ordered it, which one you pre-ordered. Fix my conversation down below. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy as well. And as far as the giveaway winner, I don't remember exactly what cards I gave away, but I will either go find them from yesterday's video or give you this Eric Dickerson, which is actually better than the cards from yesterday. So 
I think it was Kurt Warner, and it's not another guy. But regardless, make sure if you did win, guy, uh, we did win. I think it was Joshua, Yourself or something like that. Just go hit me up on Twitter. Figured it all out on the side. I mean, hopefully you watch today's video. If not, I'll eventually re-roll it. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys weren't too excited for film study because that is that was ass and it's gone. Hopefully, luckily. But that's about it. I'm out. Peace.